Erectile dysfunction is a common problem amongst men with diabetes. Diabetes causes ED the same way it causes disease in the patient's fingers and toes. Diabetes causes disease in the nerves that are responsible for normal sensation in that tissue, and as well in the blood vessels that are bringing healthy blood flow to, say again, the fingers and toes. The same exact twofold process is going on in the diabetic who's developed ED. It's his nerves that are responsible for telling his penis it's time to get an erection. If that signal's not occurring, that creates this problem to some extent. His erection depends upon small blood vessels that have to bring in a large volume of healthy blood every time he gets an erection. If those blood vessels are diseased, it's less likely that this process is gonna work correctly. It's more likely to be an issue in the poorly controlled diabetic. There are good research studies that tell us that as that number gets higher, which again, correlates to poorer control of diabetes and, and poorer control of blood sugar, that the percentage of men reporting sexual dysfunction complaints goes way up fast. For the diabetic who's dealing with ED, it's on us to remain in touch with all of the rest of their physicians, their primary care doctor, their endocrinologist who's focusing on their diabetes control, their cardiologist who is keeping them from having a heart attack in the future. Certainly diabetics are at higher risk of heart health events like heart attack, unfortunately. And so it's a team-based approach with all of those physicians trying to keep this guy healthy and to solve his problem at the same time.